The skywriter.org site itself is a place where students, faculty members, can go to learn about new technologies as they become available. We'll be looking at a variety of online technologies, one of which is our course management system, known as Moodle, where we'll be able to host many courses, online courses, particularly for faculty members who are looking to learn how to use the technology. Also, scrolling down on our front page, we've got some of the technology we'll be showing to students. These range from Delicious, which is social bookmarking software that allows students to find links and to share them, to Digo, another social bookmarking software. This will help them with online research that also allows them to do one other feature that Delicious does not. First you can take a look at somebody's bookmarks just to give you an example. Once again these are the same bookmarks you might share on your own browser. Once again these are the same bookmarks you might store on your own browser. However, when you go to one of the pages from your bookmarks you have the option of annotating. Let me take you through the process from start to stop with one of these softwares as a demonstration. Let's say we found this page online, Scholasticus, and we want to keep it for later. You click this box here on your toolbar. You can add tags, categorize it. Here I might tag it as Skywriter, which is one of the tags I already had for it. We can make it public or private, and we can write some notes. And we can save that tag. Then we can highlight something we find important on the page. And by right-clicking this, now that I have my Digo toolbar installed, I can highlight and sticky note it and make a note a very non-technological piece of advice from this blog and I can save that. As we saw, if I wanted to, when I looked at that particular sticky note, I can also go in and share that with a group who might be my students, might be some of my classmates. Another important piece of research technology is Zotero, an application when added to your Firefox browser which lets you to find pages and much like in this diagram, save the information, store it, and file it away very neatly. PB Wiki is a very lightweight and free wiki software that classes can use and teachers can use. An example of a page would be this one I'm currently using for one of my classes where I can have the students build a list where they're comparing elements in the readings and they can all contribute to these lists and then of course we can use them in class discussion and reference them later in their writing. I would be remiss not to mention 22 short films about grammar that we've produced that will also include an error log that students can use and faculty members can use to keep track of student mistakes. NetVibes is a page that allows us to combine many channels of information and research. Students and faculty members can use these to keep track of the latest trends simultaneously pulling information from RSS feeds, blog searches, web searches, video searches, and podcasts. And lastly, Google Docs allow students to post and share works not only with one another but also with faculty members who can comment. Google Docs has both a word processor and a spreadsheet 
more importantly, has recently added a slide function that allows students who do not have PowerPoint to create shareable slide presentations. These are just some of the many technologies we would be employing in Skywriter. Of course, these are just the technologies that are around today and that we know about. Over the course of the year, no doubt, many more will be developed and we will be part of that process of changing the way these applications are used. All of the applications that I just presented are free and only require registration, so they will be useful not only to faculty members at major research institutions, but to any faculty member or student who has access to the Internet. The, what Skywriter brings to the table is how to use these techniques and tools effectively in the process of teaching education. Sorry, in the process of teaching writing.